Hey guys, my name's Kian Hushman and I'm sick of dialing in modern metal tones. Let's have a look. So if you've watched this channel before, you'd know that I'm very focused on modern metal tones, very focused on heavy metal production, stuff like that. And to be honest, lately I'm getting a little bit sick of dialing in it all the time. I recently got a new guitar as a Fender Telecaster loaded up with single coil pickup, so it's the complete antithesis of anything modern metal or anything genty, and it's really kind of opened me up into dialing in tones that I haven't necessarily dialed in before. However, one thing I am struggling with is how to actually dial in a tone, for example, a rock tone or a math rock tone, something that I'm not necessarily used to, unlike a modern metal tone where I dial it in all the time. In comes STL Tone Hub where I can basically just double click on a preset and it loads up a tone that is mix ready out the box and sounds absolutely amazing and it saves me the time and effort of dialing in a tone knob by knob. Instead, I can just put my faith in all the different artists and producers that are making these tones within these tone packs and kind of just go with the flow and play as I go. So today I'm going to go through a couple of my favourite presets within these tone packs so you guys can see how I'm using them and how easy it is to actually just click on it and start playing. Before we get into that though, if you guys like this video at any time, please consider leaving a like and a comment on anything you see or hear. And if you want to see more of this stuff, definitely subscribe because I will be doing more videos like this, that's for sure. If you guys are considering supporting me as a channel by getting the tabs, stems, DIs and all that good stuff for the demo song that you're about to hear, definitely consider becoming a Patreon, I'll leave a link for that in the description. Also in my description is every single piece of gear that I'm using that is available on Sweetwater's website so if you guys want the affiliate links for that definitely check out my description and you can see all the gear that I'm using and how to get it yourself. But enough of that, how does it sound in a mix? going to be going through today is some of the presets that come included within the SDL Tone Hub Tone Packs um, and the beauty of this is that I know that I can dial the metal tones the way that I like them. Um, I'm very quick at doing it now but if I want to dial in something that I don't necessarily um, play too often such as like a rock tone or a math rock tone or something that's a little bit lighter in nature I do struggle a little bit because it's something that I'm not used to but the beauty of this is that I can click on any of these presets and know that it has a purpose it has been tested from the people that are representing these packs and it should sound good out of the box no stress no worries a great example of this is the Joey Bradford pack Joey Bradford is the guitarist of the used and within here I found a couple presets that I really really enjoy it's almost like plug and play you just load it up click a preset and if you want to change anything you can I'll just do a quick skim of that because that's not the purpose of this video the purpose of this video is to showcase how easy it is to get really good tones out the box without touching anything but theoretically if I wanted to you do have these different panes here like the stomp boxes you have a couple different overdrives compressors stuff like that um, the amp controls like the gain bass mids all that stuff you can change if you really really want to as you can see inbuilt tuner you can set the input of your guitar as well the noise gate um, the output there's a lot of different settings you can change going on to the cabinet section you have all these mic controls like the position of the mic the angle of the mic, high pass, low pass, all that stuff. I've done a really in-depth video on this as well a long time ago when the SDL Tone Hub plugin first came out and I'll leave a link for that in the cards as well. If you want to learn more about that, definitely check out that video but that's not the purpose of this video today. You also get an equalizer with a whole different bunch of bands that you can manipulate and an effects page which has a delay, reverb, chorus, flange, a phase, a tremolo. So there is so much stuff built in here but the beauty of it is that when you click a preset, all of these things have already been set and if you really wanted to, you can just do a couple minor changes just to tweak it to your playing and your guitar or something like that. So basically what I did was I kind of just scrolled through all of these presets until I found something that I liked, something that fit the ballpark of the sound that I was going for, the sound that I heard in my head, and the Dirty 2 from the Freedman was exactly what I was hearing on my head, especially when you flick it on the middle pickup. <laughs> I was looking for something that's like a lot more rocky, a lot more math rocky, that has just enough grit and pull that you can kind of hear the distortion a little bit, but it's not overtaking it like a metal tone would. You're still getting the cleanness out the pickups and it's really reactive to the way that you're playing. You know, if you pick harder, it'll come through. But if you pick light, 
cleans up really, really nicely. So as far as the tone that I was looking for, for that exact example, it was pretty much bang on. I haven't changed any of the amp settings. I haven't changed any of the cabinet settings. The only thing I did was turn the compressor on because I had some tappy parts, but really if I didn't, I wouldn't even bother. Another preset within the Joey Bradford pack that I really, really enjoyed was the Bad Cat Lynx Clean 2 preset. Now, if you're a fan of the channel and you've watched it before, you know that I'm a massive fan of those like long trail delay clean patches. But it kind of just keeps going on, especially in that dotted eight thing. I really, really enjoy that. And all I've done here is just double clicked on the preset, flicked the neck pickup on. And that basically just sounds good out the box. So straight out the box, the tone sounds really, really good, really nice and clean. Say for instance, you want to change something like maybe how many feedbacks there were within the delay, if you want to change how many times it repeats, all you'd have to do is go to the effects page and then turn down the feedback. Or you can leave it where it was before. And it kind of keeps repeating. So little things like that, just to tailor to your song, to your play style, you can do all that within the plugin. But to be honest, when you double click on it, it sounds really good as it is. After having this telly for a little while, I've started to figure out how to get a really good solo tone out of it. And one way that I really like doing it is by using the bridge pickup, especially with these pile driver pickups by Bare Knuckle, they sound absolutely amazing. Going through this Mesa Lone Star Dirty preset sounds even better. <laughs> Again, just like before, all I've done is literally double click on the preset, the Maze Alone Star Dirty preset, and then just started playing. <laughs> and it sounds that good out the box. So now I'm going to switch over guitars to my Pro Series Juggernaut loaded up with Ragnarok pickups. <laughs> Some of the other tone packs within SDL Tone Hub, such as the Howard Benson Tone Pack, that cover like a lot of different tones that aren't just like really high gain focused. Um, one of the ones that I really, really enjoy in here is the SOV M50 Clean 6 preset. So if you guys haven't noticed already, you can see on each preset includes the artist that it was modeled with, or in this case, the producer, the amp, the cabinet, the microphone, the guitar, even the pickup that was used when doing the tone. As you can see here, this tone was done using a Stratocaster on the neck pickup. So what I've done is I flicked it on the next split coil setting on my Pro Series from Jackson, and it sounds really, really good out the box. It's got just enough warmth to where it sounds really nice and calming, yet it's got just enough bite to where you can hear the notes being played, especially because it's on that split call setting. Everything just shines through a little bit more.
So as you can see, this patch already comes with the delay turned on, but at the moment I'm feeling like it doesn't need to be there. So all I have to do is just turn it off. And now I'm just getting pure reverb. <laughs> Another tone pack that I'm really enjoying is the John Feldman one and specifically the preset that I'm really enjoying is Octavia 182 because on the split inner calls I believe, not the outer calls that it was before, on my split inner calls it's really nice and chiming. <laughs> The reason why I enjoy this preset so much is that it's got that really spanky, like almost polyphia type of vibe where without any effects, obviously, because none are engaged, but if you pick hard enough, it comes out really, really spanky, especially when you play it on the split inner calls. Um, on this, it's the position four, I believe, on the pickup selector. Before, on the other preset, you were hearing the split outer coils, um, but this is the split inner calls, which has a little bit of a different sound, a little bit of a different timbre, but when you pick hard on this preset, it sounds really, really good. <laughs> Or you can pick a little bit softer and clean it up a little bit and it cleans up just fine. Or alternatively you could put it on the bridge pickup and get some really nice crunch tones. I really like the way it sounds in the split inner coil. Say I wanted a little bit more grit out of this, all I'd have to do is either turn the gain up or maybe I could even add an overdrive. So I could turn this overdrive on, uh, maybe drive it up a little bit, um, put the balance just a little bit over halfway and I want it to be a little bit more spanky. So I'll turn the tone up. Without the overdrive. It's a little bit more rounder, but as soon as you put the overdrive in, it kind of tines it out a little bit, especially when you put the balanced a little bit more higher. It gets a little bit more spanky. This preset also works really well for like math rock tone. So for example, I've got a capo on my Pro Series Juggernaut loaded up with bare knuckle Ragnaroks on a split coil, but with this preset, works really well for math rock. So yeah, as you can tell, there's so many different possibilities across all the different tone packs within SD or Tone Hub, with all the different amplifiers that it's modeled after, the cabinets that it's used, the possibilities are endless, including the fact that you can just alternate and change anything that you want within the actual specific sections of the tone. It's crazy. Um, and yeah, just like, as you saw, I was basically just double clicking on the tone and playing. If I wanted to change something, it was very, very personal, like a little bit more grit with an overdrive that was very easy to do, or just how much delay there was within the delay patch and stuff like that. But generally, I was able to find presets that I really liked out the box and used it in a song as you heard before.
you guys are already asking behind your screens, does it gent? And yes, it can if you really want it to. Right now I'm back on the Jory Bradford tone pack. So again, not necessarily like a really heavy metal focused tone pack, um, but you can make it so if you dial in the things the way you want. So for example, I've got the Freeman B BB34 preset and I've engaged the overdrive one. So drive almost all the way off, tone pretty high and balance almost maxed out. And then I've drived up the gain a little bit and you can get it genty if you really want it to. <laughs> So that's all. If you guys like this video at any time, please feel free to leave a like and a comment on anything you saw or heard. Massive thanks to STL Tones for providing all of this stuff for me. I wouldn't be able to make this video without you guys and I'm really appreciative of it. Again, if you want to consider becoming a Patreon, definitely check out the link in my description as well as all the affiliate links for all the gear that I'm using. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.